Welcome everyone, friends and family. We thank you for being here to share with Matthew and Brooke on their first day as husband and wife. Brooke, you are truly one of the most loyal, most giving, and genuine people that I know. When Brooke loves, she loves with her whole heart. For as long as we have been friends, you have always been caring for others, for your family, your friends, making sure everyone else is okay before thinking of yourself. In Matt, you have found someone who loves you deeply, who comforts and grounds you, who challenges you to chase your dreams, and who cares for you the way you care for everyone else. Matt is the type of person where if you have a one-on-one -on -one with him, it's extremely easy to have a very deep and meaningful conversation. It's these spur-of-the-moment conversations and adventures that make Matt such a great friend. Matt would tell me there's this girl that's just so easy to talk to, and it was like she was becoming his best friend. Me being his true best friend, though, found this a little skeptical. So I was like, this clearly can't be a woman, it must be a man. So, Naturally, when I meet Brooke for the first time, I realize, oh wow, this girl is the one for Matt. Brooke is outgoing, compassionate, thoughtful, loving, and also very easy to talk to. As I look back on five years together, I see so much growth and so much more opportunity ahead of us. I see a partnership that can light up a room and a partnership that can calm a storm. Matt, I admire how you naturally connect with people and care about their life experiences. I feel that I've become a stronger woman with the confidence I've always dreamed of because of being with you. I vow to always cherish our moments of connection. I promise to stand by you during the rough times, knowing we are better and stronger together. I vow to love you, even when time stops and it's time to go home. the first time I met Matt, but I remember the second time it was here at the Hotel Dell, and I remember looking at Matt going, he looks like Mr. July in one of those fireman's calendars or something like that. There must be something wrong with him. But he turned out great. One night, Brooke was at work, and Matt texted me and said, I have a question I want to ask you. Can I come by the house? And Matt came over, and he asked me for permission to propose to Brooke. And I thought, man, this guy just gets better and better. I uh, am so impressed by you as a couple. The world is your oyster. Everything is possible, and it's amazing.
comes storm or hurricane, I'll forever dance in the rain with you. I love you.